All right, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Uh, today we have an example, very good example, uh, as an application of uh, power series to evaluate the limit of sine x over x. This was something we did earlier in Calc 1. This is one of the special limits that you run into 0 over 0 type indeterminate form. When you plug in 0, as you see, you have sine 0 over 0. So to go around that, uh, you can use the table of sample values like the way we did in Calc 1, or you can use the L'Hopital's rule to calculate this limit. But today we're going to have an alternate uh, version of finding the limit by using the power series. I don't want to give you more details right now because I'm going to talk about that uh, in the video. So uh, why don't we get started? All right, let's handle this uh, question. We're going to use the... Uh, power series uh, or series representation of the function to find the limit uh, of the function at zero. And this this was, in fact, one of the uh, limit uh, questions that we tackled in calculus uh, one. Um, it's sine x over x. It's almost like uh, sine uh, zero over zero type, uh, which is zero over zero type uh, indeterminate form. Uh, and when we have this in indeterminate form, we can either use the table of sign, I mean table of uh, sample values, uh, by using your calculator. Uh, we take like sample values uh, around zero and then see what the corresponding function values approach. Um, or uh, we learned uh, the L'Hopital's rule to take care of that. In fact, uh, the L'Hopital's rule allows us to take the derivative of the top and the bottom separately to get um, uh, cosine x uh, over 1, right? So if you take the derivative of the bottom, it's uh, 1. Uh, let me just correct that, okay. And when you pass the limit now, this is equal to 1. So in fact, you can find this uh, limit, you can find this limit to be exactly uh, equal to, to be exactly equal to 1, okay? Um, yeah, so it's 1. Uh, we know it by using the L'Hopital's rule or, or, or more uh, primitive techniques like using the calculator and having like table of sample values. But, but now you want to use the uh, benefit of having a power uh, series representation of sine x over x. So let's go back to uh, our table and see what the uh, power, uh, power uh, series representation of sine x looks like. So it's, it's right here, right? It's right here that comes with the interval of... Uh, convergence, uh, negative infinity and infinity. I'm going to go back and then use the, this power series to reproduce the power series of uh, sine x over x. All right, so I just copied uh, power series uh, representation of sine x. So I need uh, the power uh, series of uh, uh, sine uh, x over x, okay? So let's just do that. So all, all I'm going to do is just divide everything by x, okay? So I have minus 1 to the n, um, x to do 2n, divided by uh, 2n uh, plus 1 uh, factorial, okay? All right. Uh, and this is looking like 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial, x to the fourth, sorry, this is 3 factorial, right? 5 factorial and uh, on and on and on, right? And that's good because I can replace sine x over x by its power series. And let me use this form because it's pretty clear here what's going on when you pass the limit. So uh, limit as x approaches 0 of uh, sine x over x, but we're using the power series representation now. So all the terms other than 1 are somehow like related to the powers of x. So when you, when you plug in 0 for x, all of those terms are going to be gone. And we will deduce that um, limit of uh, sine x over x at 0 is going to be 1. Uh, that's an awesome result because we did not use the L'Hopital's rule or table of sample values. We just used the power of uh, the power series uh, to get down to the same limit value 1. Um, and that's it. I think uh, uh, we got the final result. And, and I think that's the end of the video. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.